Mr. Christopher Diaz. How you doing, brother? How you doing, my brother? Man, I'm good, man. It's good to be back up here with you, man. <laughs> Finally. Shooting the final episode of ATL Homicide, season three. You were here three weeks ago. I was here three weeks ago. Yeah. Yeah, but it was different. It wasn't with you. Yeah, kind of a uh, different project, I remember. Yeah, I was uh, for a different show for the same network. Right. But it was, it was weird because I'm usually up here with you guys, shooting with you and Angelo, and... But I was up here for another show, so it just wasn't the same. Hey, yeah, but you, we still got to party. We did a little barbecue. A barbecue, a little drinking. A little drinking. What did we, what did we have that day? We had yeah, we had a whole spread. We had burgers. We had chicken. We Boom, peppers, corn. Man, we had, and then we had, uh, then the big rainstorm came in and kind of just, mm. so we had to like rush everything inside. What, what time was your call time? that day you you didn't have to get on set until like 11 o'clock at night man actually it was like yeah it was like 11 38 at night call time i was supposed to start shooting <laughs> around right. midnight it happened no, it saucy wasn't enough. Saucy. it wasn't saucy um, <laughs> but no it was like the call time was like it was really late and i remember we, like i was supposed to start shooting around 12 o'clock and it was almost one in the morning before we actually like started shooting yeah, yeah, and yeah. I think I got back here around. I think it was close, like two thirty, three o'clock. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And but but with that whole pandemic, most of the time now well, we, they're just shelling them out. We're going in and out of uh, each scene. Yeah, That's good. I mean, it's just TV, television, so much different than movies. Television, everything's just kind of like really fast. Like you get one or two takes at it, and then they're then they seem to be moving on to the next to the next thing. Yeah, we're working with a skeleton crew now, which yeah. It's a little, a little bit more difficult, but we're making it happen. But so we're not using that full crew. We don't have two, three cameras uh, per scene. So. Yeah. Well, so but you're working as a producer down in Florida now, right? Yeah. 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 And yeah. So how's that different than actually being in front of the camera? In front of the camera? Yeah. I have a little bit more control as to the final product, which is great. Yeah. Uh, but but it's cool. I'm, I'm producing six shows. I'm a studio producer at a new uh, studio down there. It used to be the old Telemundo lot. Okay. For like 15 years, and it was it was closed to the public. And it's a huge six sound stages, a back lot. And uh, so now that uh, these people took over, it's called Kachita Universal Studios. You guys got to check it out. Oh yeah. Definitely. So uh, yeah, whenever you come to Miami, I'm, I'll sh I'll give you the tour. That's where a lot of music videos are shot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So now that it's open to the public, we've been we've been bringing in a bunch of pro, uh, different production companies. One being, uh, we we did the Daddy Yuna music video, which was great. It was on a big scale. Yeah. In the biggest uh, sound studio, it's like uh, twelve thousand square feet, twenty four feet from floor yeah. to, uh, to lighting uh, grid, and it was great, man. That one uh, we shot the What's Poppin' remix video with Jack Harlow, um, Tory Lanez, Little Wayne, the Baby. Uh -huh. Yeah. And yes, I was going to say because I remember you said something a couple of weeks ago about Little Wayne. It's a big deal. I mean, Miami's. I mean, it's just a, a place to be as far as you know, music. It seems to be like everybody's shooting or filming in Miami. Oh yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, I yeah. Remember, music videos more than anything. Yeah. music videos and commercials is a big thing that that gets shot down in Miami. Yeah, and and I think with uh, you know Dwayne Johnson, The Rock, he his show Ballers was shot in Miami. Yeah, for a long time until the tax incentives yeah. got cut out, and then they they took it took the production to LA. No, because you know, as actors, we we think different than than anybody else. Like when I know when I got into acting a couple years ago, and I can't watch a movie now, I can't watch a show analyzing it. Yeah, yeah, dissecting it completely. Like, why did this person do this? How did how did they come up with this? And so now it's just almost hard to really fully enjoy something when all I'm oh doing now is just like, why did they do? Like, you know, now it's more instinct. Like, uh, now now it's very difficult. Now I see, so I can see where the camera starts. And when, yeah. when the scene ends, yeah, and and then you see that they're about to cut mm -hmm. again from yeah. a different angle. Yeah, well, just like when I, you know, this is the first show I've done um, since since I've started in acting. This is actually like the first big thing I've done, and I actually remember when I booked this role. Me and my wife had just gotten off a plane. We just got back from New York, and my agent calls me. Uh, Lisa, she said that, listen, are you available to start filming? And she told me what it was and everything. She didn't let me know it was a recurring role. She just told me like, hey, can you- You're gonna be a detective on yeah, this show. Yeah, but you gotta be up there in like two days. And <laughs> That's I was like, usually the case. I was like, oh yeah, awesome. I was like, I'll, I'll go ahead and get my stuff ready and let's go. And then she called me back and she was like, listen, I want you to know like, this is a recurring role. Like you're actually gonna be up there several times shooting several episodes. And I was, man, I was so excited. Like, cause excuse me, I've done several things beforehand. Like I've done some short films and some, mm -hmm. 
and some uh, internet work and things like that. But I just remember like, I was so nervous. I came up, you guys were so <laughs> nice. You and Angela just like, it's like we've known each other for years. And I, the, the first episode, I was more of the behind the scenes uh, detective. I really didn't have any lines or anything like that. Not the so. first episode, the second episode of that, you definitely did. Yeah, when we, yeah, because I remember that. that was a pretty crazy episode too. And then I still remember, like I had more lines, nervous. Even when we were rehearsing before we started shooting, like I just kept, you know, stuttering. I was screwing up lines, and I was just, kind of, and then like you guys were just like telling me, like, listen, just sit back, calm down, everything, you know, just, just have you a conversation. You know your lines, just talk to us. You, you know what? Back then, we used to do this thing where we would have the secondary actors come into our hotel. We would sit by the fire, especially the scenes that they were involved in, and yeah. give them a little bit of a backstory that's not usually given uh, on this show for these secondary characters. And then uh, the ability for us to just block out the yeah. scene the day before we shoot it so that it's more comfortable once we're on set and then the director yeah. will block us and then everything just feels more seamless like, and yeah. you're present. The way, the way we do it is the way it really should be. You know, we go over lines every day. We go over oh, the yeah. lines every night. like Till it's just, embedded. Till exactly. it's embedded. And why are you saying those lines? Because at yeah. the end of the day, you shouldn't be speaking unless you have a reason to talk. Yeah. And, and, a, and a clear objective of what you want in the scene. Oh, so, yeah. I mean, it, but it's, it's such a phenomenal experience. It's definitely, like, given me something to, like, be excited for in the future projects. Because, like, this really, I mean, this show has given me so much. Y'all have taught me so much as far as, like, you know, what it takes to, you know, to learn your lines and, and things like that, the importance, like, it's just like you said. And so when we're on set, you know, we're getting into character, but, you know, because getting into character can almost just be as hard as remembering your lines, because not only are you having to stay in character, but you're also having to say your lines as well while playing a different character. Oh, for sure, for sure. You got to know who you are uh, when you're going into this. And, and, and the character is always different. Everybody breathes to a different rhythm. Everybody, yeah. you know? Yeah, every, different rhythm to everybody. Everybody's got their own way of of, yeah, yeah. of doing things. It's different paces. Yeah, bah, bah, bah. and what motivates you? Yeah, you know. And we all come from different backgrounds, and that that's that's a beautiful thing. Oh yeah, it's it's. I mean, it's just a brotherhood. It's phenomenal. Really nice. The it's third really leg of the been, tripod. Yeah, I'm the I'm the third wheel. <laughs> you guys, you guys are the main characters. I'm the third wheel coming mm. in. I'm the, I'm the guy in the background, just like you know. Wait till you. Well, oh, but we're, we've been dissecting. So, so for all you viewers out there, wait till you see this uh, season three for uh, episode fifteen of season yeah. three. You'll see uh, how close these three characters are. Oh man, and that and that's the beauty of this show. It seems like the 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 more episodes, the more you see the relationship. You see the just everything come together, and it's, it's like these. I mean, these guys. These are based off real characters. These are based off real yeah. detectives, and so yeah, yeah. you know, and they all work together as a collective. Yeah, you know, including uh, the character that Sean Mixon plays. Oh yeah, oh yeah, Calhoun. Calhoun, he's a great guy. He's gonna be up here. No, oh, he's awesome. Too, oh, he's man. awesome. Man, I, I met him last year. He was such a nice guy. Such a nice guy. I can't wait to, for him to get back up here as well. All four of us on set for this episode. Oh I mean, man, it's, it's on, what, it's what do they a, call us? The, the the dream team. They dream they call team. the real detectives. They were the, yeah. like the dream team. Yeah, they dream were working team. the um, complex and high profile cases. Oh yeah. Advice would you give somebody who is looking to get into acting? Like what should they research? Like what, what, cause not only do you act, you also do voiceover work as well. And yeah. you, you actually enjoy the voiceover work more than you oh, seem man. to do. Cause being here, you know, I've, I've seen how you kind of find your different voices and it's, and it's kind of a unique oh way God. that you do that, you yeah. know? So how, what kind of advice would you give for somebody who's trying to either get into acting or voiceovers? Well, I mean, you just gotta go for it, but there's a lot of homework to be done. And since with all this technology we have now, there, there's ways, man. Hey, Google, <laughs> you, you Google whatever question you have. There's so many tips and tricks on, on getting into this trade and how to maneuver your way through this um, in the best way possible. But there's, man, just watching a lot of cartoons, putting subtitles helps a lot. Remember, I, I mean, if you, you can definitely hear, I have a Hispanic accent or Miami accent is what a, what a lot of people say. So being able to neutralize that and create a different character, like the character, you, did I show you the the, the fe animated feature that I just finished no. up here? 
And you do a lot. You do a lot of well, voiceover. Every time I talk to you, you got some different. You're in the studio for something else. <laughs> yeah. Thank God. Thank God. But you stay uh, pretty busy. Yeah, man. But but it's it was a crazy voice, and they wanted so they liked they approved me as the voice actor for it. But they're like, so we'd like to see if this actor can um, do uh, do this character with a lisp. And I'm like, okay, I've never done that. So I, so I just did a little <laughs> bit of homework on people with lisps. And then, and then it's an animation, yeah. so I just gave it, uh, I don't know if it's going to be hot, so I'm going to take it back. Good evening, Mr. Both. How are you feeling today? Oh, please, Mr. Both. It's just a little bump on your head and a little peg is smacked down. Don't be so dramatic. <laughs> <laughs> that was good, though. But it's good. Like, I had to see, like, I, I, I love voiceover stuff, too. And, like, but even, you did a you did a short film a couple years ago where you you had to really get into a mindset. It wasn't voiceover, but, you know, it was something that you were doing. Like, I know we can't really talk about it yet because that hadn't been released. Yeah, we can't do it. But it's like it was like this, to me, it just, I don't know if I can say this. Like, it, it yeah, yeah, like, yeah. Can I talk about that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so. Oh, wait, you're talking about that horror film? Yes. Oh, my God. I wait, know. Wait, you, you, had, keep, you keep saying different <laughs> different, different bits from that. Yeah, but you, yeah, well, the thing is. Well, but like, I did a lot of homework on that one. Exactly. Like, I, I just couldn't picture somebody, like, being able to do a voice like that, just, like, turn it on just like that. It takes, I had like, to, time I had to find to, the I had right to voice. Just do, I had to do that. Like, in my fiance, <laughs> I was driving her crazy because I would just spit out lines from the film uh, in that character voice, and I was freaking her out. Imagine I was, oh, or, or just looking in the mirror different ways to see different angles and and what worked and what didn't work. Yeah, and and what what helped the scene push through and different things like that, well, which was great. Well, you know that's one of the things that they teach us in acting class. Uh, my agency, Stisa Talent Agency, like that's mm -hmm. one of the, cause these people are amazing. Like Shout they, out to Stisa. Yes, yeah, Stisa Talent Agency. Lisa and Steve, you guys are awesome. All right, Lisa and Steve. And, um, but you know, like they, what is, looking in the mirror is the best way to work on your facial expressions. It can be scary. It's scary. It can be scary yeah. because you're looking at yourself, I mean, you're saying things. Well, I remember there's been a couple times where like, uh, my wife, she would, I would be going over my lines. I'd just be saying them out loud. She'll walk outside and she'll see me and she's like, you know, I'm just going over lines. She's like, are you okay? I'm like, I'm like yeah, I'm just, I'm just going over lines. I'm just going over lines. I'm, she's like, oh, okay. And, uh, but yeah, it's just that. So imagine the voice, imagine the character I, I created for the deep that, maple, yeah. uh, the maple grove story. Yeah. I mean, that, that's just insane. Oh. I can't wait for people to see. Yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> it's uh, just a little backstory. It's a uh, cult leader cannibal. Yeah. Uh, and, and that character. And, I, and, and so you find seeds in, in each character to help you formulate that character and yeah. bring it from the script um, and, and right off the page into into the into the scenes and into yeah. the film and it was but i did i did a lot of homework on charles manson uh on an indigenous tribe that does cannibalism and stuff like that uh on hannibal lecter uh a little bit of of uh, see, that's the vibe i got moments yeah well who that was the vibe i got was heath ledger's joker when i when you like show me a little bit of the clip yeah that's <laughs> like, and i'm just kind of like in the course the, uh, the, the, the it's like you just the had lust. This, like yeah, it's like you just had this like it was just like from it just you couldn't believe it was you. From the makeup, the voice, everything. It was just like this is Chris. Like this is it's crazy. And uh, I was happy with that one. It, that should be coming out soon. Waiting on that. I'm excited about that one. Well, man, I've appreciated you being on the show today. Man, thanks it's for been, having like, me. Bro. I'm, I'm super excited. I've been with you all week. Hell yeah! And uh, we're, we're getting ready to what? Fire up some fillets. Yeah, we're yeah. gonna do bacon wrap, filet mignon, some with some uh, kebabs, what? Some mushrooms, peppers, onions. Yeah. And uh, you know, I'm, I'm look, looking forward to finishing out this week, brother. But man, it's been again. You've been awesome. Come on, man. You the man.